Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you today with a video on the duck eggs. I've been finding them all over the place and made a video about it. Just it's been like an Easter egg hunt going around and finding these duck eggs. We've used some of them and uh, now I've got two of them that I'm setting in here in this little makeshift repurposed cat house into a nesting box in here in the duck house. Made them a little ramp to climb up on. Um, I, I was wondering whether to put this nesting box on the ground or whether to lift it up and the lady that i got the ducks from she had hers up off the ground and there was a duck nesting in there so i don't think it's going to be a problem having it up off the ground and uh, brought them in here put them in so hopefully they'll feel like this is a safe space to lay their eggs and what i'm hoping to do is to one morning let the animals out kind of late and uh you know allow them to kind of hang out in here they'll probably be mad at me for not letting them out super early but leave them in for just a few hours so that way they can uh come in here and see the eggs and because because they'll get bored in here they'll you know piddle around for a little bit but then hopefully they'll climb up here see the eggs and the hens will start laying in there you gonna show us the eggs mila yeah <laughs> but i made this makeshift i did it super temporary kind of like this shelter um just because all of our i want to put all of our energy and resources for, you know good materials into our permanent homestead on the nine acres so for the time being this is going to serve us good and it's going to help the um <sighs> hopefully help the hens know where to lay and Mila here is going to turn it into a slide, it looks like. <laughs> is that a good slide? But, yeah, hope, hopefully they'll start laying in here. I'll keep y'all updated on that. I've got to uh, get them some, a, a bigger container of water or either get them to eventually go down to the pond because from what I hear, it's really hard for the males to um, impregnate the females or, or you know mate with the females outside of water i've seen them try to do it a couple of times here up on on land and it just it, it's not pretty it's like they're really trying but they can't do something from what i understand they have to push the hen under water and uh, it almost from things i've heard it looks like uh, they're just about to drown her but what they're doing is they're mating and to make sure we have fertilized eggs, I wanna make sure that they've got everything they need to be able to, to do the deed. And uh, then we can start saving up eggs and allowing our hens to hatch babies. Cause that's what our plan is, is to do about half and half. So I'll say, you know, when a hen starts a clutch in here, I'll take half the eggs. So we'll let her lay an egg um, or let her lay, you know, maybe uh, eight or so or however many it is that she's going to hatch, and then mark those, and after that, you know, take away eggs and just leave the the, the, the eight that are going to be there for good um, until she starts sitting. So that's, a, that's our plan right now. I'll let y'all know and keep you updated on how this works on getting the hens to lay in there. And uh, if you like this video or if you found anything in it helpful, please leave a like. Uh, anything you got to add or any questions that you might have leave those down in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for more like this to drop a video every day and uh, i appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one